Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing why Professor McGonagall was allowed to give Harry Potter a Nimbus 2000 broomstick during his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Now, other than the fact that the best broomstick on the market seems like an inappropriate gift from a professor, not to mention an extreme display of favoritism, why was it such a big deal that she provided Harry with a Nimbus 2000? Well, for those of you who may not know or may have simply forgotten, first year students at Hogwarts are expressly forbidden from having their own broomstick at school. This is stated, in all capitals I might add, right at the beginning of the Philosopher's Stone in the very acceptance letter that Harry receives from Hogwarts. Parents are reminded that first years are not allowed their own broomstick. Once Harry arrives at Hogwarts, we even learn from Ron Weasley that first years are also not allowed to play on the house Quidditch teams. Presumably, these two rules exist in an effort to protect first years from harm as they acclimatize to their new school and learn the basics of magic. So then, knowing this, why is it that Harry Potter, as a first year student, is given a broomstick and a spot on the Gryffindor Quidditch team by a professor? Surely Professor McGonagall, head of Gryffindor and rather forbidding, rule-abiding teacher, didn't go out and break the rules just so she could win a school Quidditch match? Well, actually yes, she kind of did. Let me explain. In Harry's first year at Hogwarts, Gryffindor House hadn't had a quality seeker on their Quidditch team since Ron's older brother, Charlie Weasley, had graduated. And it would seem that both Oliver Wood, the team's captain, and Professor McGonagall were desperate to change that. He's just the build for a seeker too, said Wood, now walking around Harry and staring at him. Light, speedy. We'll have to get him a decent broom, Professor. A Nimbus 2000 or a Clean Sweep 7, I'd say. I shall speak to Professor Dumbledore and see if we can't bend the first year rule. Heaven knows we need a better team than last year. Flattened in that last match by Slytherin, I couldn't look Severus Snape in the face for weeks. As you can see, in discovering that Harry was innately talented at flying a broomstick, she caught sight of him flying without permission. Another bit of rule breaking she seems willing to overlook. Anyway, in discovering that Harry was innately talented, she confers with Wood and then goes to Headmaster Dumbledore to ask for permission to bend the typical rules applied to first year students, broomsticks and Quidditch. As we well know, Dumbledore agrees, and although we never see the scene in which he does so, we know that permission has been granted when Professor Flitwick shares with a group of students, including Draco Malfoy and Harry. Yes, yes, that's right, said Professor Flitwick, beaming at Harry. Professor McGonagall told me all about the special circumstances, Potter. And what model is it? A Nimbus 2000, sir. The remaining question here would be, who paid for this top-of-the-line broomstick? But alas, that's all the time we have for today. Maybe I'll tackle that one in a future video. Leave me a comment below if that's something you'd like me to cover. As for today's question, it would seem that Professor McGonagall was allowed to give Harry a Nimbus 2000 in order to stack her house Quidditch team, which she did by getting permission to ignore the typical school rules from Professor Dumbledore. Perhaps not the answer you were expecting. But with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.